As you enter Union Square, you will notice four unique light fixtures created by R.M. Fisher in 2003. The Union Square Colonnade is the third stop on our tour. R.M. Fisher is known for his eccentric anthropomorphic light sculptures that are part of public works across the United States. His goal is to have viewers look at customary, often overlooked urban features like light fixtures in a new way. Each fixture contains combination of historic elements, clear spheres, and steel globes. These lights range from 18 to 24 feet high and are mounted on red granite columns. Each sculpture is illuminated at night and work together to bound the southern part of the square. The design of the lights combine references to San Francisco's rich Victorian architectural heritage and new modern forms. Fisher seeks to have work appear futuristic and historic simultaneously. These pieces were the first permanent sculptures to be placed in the square since the installation of the Dewey Monument in 1901. Union Square itself does seep in a combination of history and optimism. It was created in 1847, and in 1906, the Great Earthquake shook the city that left Dewey Monument in place. From that point on, the square was known as a premier shopping district of the city. In 1930, the world's first underground parking structure was built in the square. But by the early 80s and into the 90s, the square had become quite run down and gained a reputation as a seedy area. Plans were made to rejuvenate the square, and in 2002 it reopened after massive renovations. R.M. Fisher lived in San Francisco during the 70s while he studied for his MFA at the San Francisco Art Institute. By the 80s, Fisher became well known for his lamps, and he would cross back and forth between the fine art world and the commercial realm, exhibiting his lamps in galleries and at the same time selling them to department stores. It seems fitting that his fixtures are located in the heart of the shopping district. His use of recycled materials and modern elements respond to the history of the square itself. Now head across the square up Stockton Street to visit the next stop in our tour.